guys, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel and in my garden. Um, today is the day. It's probably the last project outdoors for this year, at least this year. Um, I have decided that I was going to close out my backyard. By that, I mean that there's a portion of my yard that goes on the blacktop that is open, meaning that deer can come in and I need to move my roses from the front and put them in the yard but in order to do that and protect them I need to close it off. There's two advantages to that. One, if I close off the yard I can have a really nice landscape backyard that is completely safe from deer and two, I can let go of the two running lines and have my dogs go in the backyard and run free um, so that's going to be good for them and that's gonna be good for me, but I have to build it. So it's basically the same principle than the vegetable garden. You'll see it's basically post with bars and chicken wire and a banister on top and another gate above the um, trench. So there will be two gates in the backyard, one to enter the entire garden and one to enter the vegetable garden. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is if I leave the dogs in the yard, I have to close off the vegetable garden because a certain beagle we know and love will go straight to the tomatoes and chew them up. He's been um, caught doing that several times already. So I need to have two gates. Um, first order of business, I have the post. They're six feet tall. I need to tar the bottom of them and I have to dig uh, the holes for it. now. It's already late in the day, it's Saturday, it's already one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna work for about four hours. Hopefully I can have the three posts installed and then tomorrow it's just a matter of putting the bars and creating the gate. And um, then we'll let the dogs loose. So let's get started. So I'm taking advantage that there's not a lot of uh, landscapers working right now. To talk to you with a quiet background, this is the area I am talking about. All of this here is getting fenced off, so let's look at it from another angle. Okay, so there's going to be a gate here that's going to open um, this way, so that way I can open that one this way and the tiller can go in. There will be one post right here, four feet tall. It should basically match the height of this one. And then I'll have another post right here and one right there at the corner. So here are the posts and I have, where's the rest? This is for the transverse and the top. Now, if you remember, when I did this vegetable garden here, I put the bars, the transverse, on the opposite side, right? They are on the inside. But this is a method to my madness. On this side here, I put them on the outside. Why did I do that? It makes no sense, you're going to say. Well, because when I finish this off, they're going to be on the inside as well. So when you're in the garden, the fencing here and this will be exactly the same. See? There's some thought process going on. It takes me a long time to put this stuff together. Um, my biggest issue is going to be to dig this up here. I have to go two feet and then I have to do another one here at two feet and um, another one right here at two feet but I need to tar the bottoms of those posts at about two feet because they are going directly into the ground so let me get the leftover uh, sealer that I have and I'm going to tar this so that way they can dry and while they're drying I'll start digging. the three posts done and what we're going to do right now is take the tiller and I'm actually going to till 
a whole band from here to there. So that's the flower bed I didn't really want to build this year, but at least we're going to start it. So from here to here, it's going to go this way. And then at about here, it's going to go this way because there's going to be a second apple tree. And then it goes this way. So Scott is going to till for me. And it rained a lot this week, so it should be soft ground, no problem. And while he does that, I'm going to start digging right here because that's what's facing the other post over there for the gate. Um, so I have to dig two feet in here so that I can put my post. about the noise uh, we still have this running because Scott is about to till the vegetable garden so anyway I have the big rocks here to hold it um, perpendicular temporarily because you remember I'm gonna have to transverse right so I need it to be nice and straight so I'm just gonna go ahead you've seen what I've done I'm gonna do one more here and one right here so when I come back I'll have the three posts installed So I have all three, it's done. And you probably already realized that the one in the middle is not right in the middle. That's because there's a humongous boulder right underneath there. I couldn't get through it, so I had to move it. Um, I don't know if it's there to support the black top, I'm not sure. I had to cut. A little bit of this one because there's dead pan and I couldn't uh, get through it either but what am I going to do now? Uh, I have to measure the distance from here to there and from here to there cut my panels and start putting the bottom panels
mission accomplished just for today. Um, I'm actually a little bit ahead. I didn't think I was going to be able to do the bottom part. So um, this is actually a little bit higher than this. And that's because this dead pan here. I, I just couldn't go through it. I would have had to get a uh, one of those jackhammer. Mm, don't think so. Um, first of all, I don't even know how to use those. But I have the bottom row down. Now I need to figure out, do I want the um, chicken wire in the front or in the back? I am not sure. I have to think about that. But this is all uh, tilled. It's trampled right now but that's all right okay so there's gonna be one rose here one rose here over here is gonna be the second apple tree right in diagonal with this one so they're gonna pollinate each other over here we'll have hydrangeas more roses and whatnot and then this tree here will come down and that would allow me to take out this here and then this pole eventually will come down because it's holding this here that's the line for the second dog so this I'll have to cut it down this will get cut down I'm not gonna uproot it um, and then I'll have to close off I'll just get like a uh, I don't know like a baby gate maybe something like that I'll have to close off that area here so that the dog can go in the back but the entire backyard here will be for the dogs. Um, hopefully they don't dig, which I know the beagle will, but we'll see. Maybe they go in the yard when I'm in the yard and I can control the behavior a little bit. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do the gate. Because uh, if you remember, this one is not perfectly flushed. So obviously the gate is going to have to open this way not in but out um, that's all right so that means the hinges will be here and then I'll have the hook on there and this is pretty even right so again there'll be a banister here on top the same thing that I did over here and then there'll be another one in the middle and another one at the bottom I just got to figure out where I'm going to put the chicken wire. I have a feeling I'm going to have to put it in the back um, of it. We'll see. We're not there. So I'm done for today. And I know this was probably short, but that's because I started late. Uh, it's almost four o'clock. I'm going to have a coffee and relax. Um, I'm actually ahead of schedule. So I think tomorrow it's going to be finished. And I'll probably be able to transplant my roses. Will I have the bed done? Probably not. Uh, but that's okay. I'll work on it during the week or next weekend. Um, this is gonna look pretty good. I'm so happy. The dogs are gonna be able to. They'll be able to run off energy, and and you know it's healthy for them anyway. Um, but guess what I'm doing now? Uh, we just ate our lunch very very late, and I'm gonna have a cup of coffee, relax, and after we drop off Edward at work, I am finally <laughs> going to my friend Mary uh, to give her the um, cat runner that I made. So. If we take a picture, I'll put it right here so you can see what she looks like and what the runner looks like now that it's finished. I hope she likes it. Um, it was a nice project. I enjoyed making that one and I'll probably make another one for myself, but not now. Um, so that's it. I have an itch right here. I don't know what it is. What do you think of the uh, garden? Tired. He's tired. He did the whole front too. Um, all the leaves and, you know, more the lawn. So we are getting ready for winter guys i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye hey it's me and guess what click that thumbs up if you really like this video thumbs down twice if you didn't you can also share my video if you really really liked it or save it to watch later also you can subscribe to my channel but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when i post a new video Thank you for watching.